What's up, my Comic-Con? My name's Cullen, and I collect comics. And uh, today is Tuesday, so what do we usually do on Tuesday? We usually go over Comic Sense. Uh, that's usually when I get the orders in. That's usually whenever I get to do them. So this is probably a couple weeks old Comic Sense right here. Uh, they have shows on Facebook every Tuesdays between uh, 5.30 Central uh, and uh, it goes between, like, usually it runs to about 7.30 Central. Uh, they're out of Buffalo, New York, or the Buffalo area of uh, New York. Uh, really, really enjoy watching their show on Facebook. Uh, it's called All the Spec. You should definitely check it out. I'll leave links below for Comic Sense, stuff like that. But, yeah, they they know their stuff, their shows. They have... Uh, spec books so and they're the brand new books that come out each week and they're usually between you know 35 or more percent off so you know you get them for cheaper than cover and you're getting what's usually hot for the week so all right we're gonna start with this big thick one that i'm sure has a magazine size book in it that's why it is in this weird mailer but yeah i really like these guys they know their stuff and like you know you get number one issues and first appearances and things like that all right first off we're going right out the gate with the magazine size because i see what it is now i really hate how thin it is shifted here especially since i've got you know, it's about as thick as the mailer, but especially whenever you're like me and you, uh, I was really excited about this, gone, because I really like Jacques a lot, Jacques a lot, and this is the cover A, right here, which is pretty sweet looking, definitely excited for that one, but what's really awesome is, I believe this might be the one in 25 I picked up. I don't think it's the B. It might be the B. I'm not sure if I got the one in 25 or the B. I'd have to, I'd have to really like look it up. Uh, but, uh, what if it'll even pull up for me? I doubt it, but yeah, it's really, it's a really cool cover. I, like I said, I always like Jock stuff. I could pull it up back here, but it might may say if it's an incentive or not. Well, seeing as how it's one, it says zero, zero, three, one, two, one would be cover B. So this is cover C by uh, Joella Jones. So this is the, this is the one in 25. And yeah, I really like it. I like the, I like how it's got the gloss just on her. So it's got a really cool, yeah, but Gone by Jock. All right, let's move on, because I've spent way too much time on that book. Or did I? Because I think it's probably going to be really cool. Distillery's a new comic company. You should definitely check them out. Looks like they're making, ma they're mostly, from what I've seen, are magazine-sized books. Uh, they've got really good artists working on it, and yeah, you should definitely check out Distillery. Uh... Next, we've got Something's Killing the Children, number 34. And uh, I got like two sets of these. So we've got the A and B. C. D. And we'll just go right through that one more time. Because we got another A cover. B cover, and I really like this trick or treat cover, and also this uh, was great too. So, yeah, I picked up uh, two sets of these. I always pick up two sets of something killing the children because I get a pretty good deal on it from them, and uh, it's good. I mean, I need to uh, get into reading it more by picking up some more older issues, but what I've read is really cool. Uh, all right, moving on to the next one. Ah, nice. First from Boom, 
another boom book besides Something's Killing the Children. Definitely one that interests me. Just the name, but we've got issue number one of Slow Burn. And uh, definitely had a cool looking cover. And uh, then this is the B cover of that. Another thing we couldn't do without is James Tinian's new adaptation of Universal Monsters Dracula. Definitely looks cool. Just about anything James Tinian the fourth uh, touches uh, pretty much is good. Uh, next, we have Void Rivals, number five. And, you know, this is more of that Energon universe with both the uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe characters. And uh, that's the uh, A and B cover here. Next, we got a issue five second printing of World Tree. Because, you know, I try to pick up all the World Tree stuff I can. Also, I pick up different printings of World Tree, too. Next... We've got this awesome variant of Marvel Zombies Red, White, and Blood. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. We also have Amazing Spider-Man number 36. And this is the New Champions variant, which has a, you know, the New Champions variants are like different uh, sidekicks for characters that could possibly show up. And this Black Cat sidekick looks pretty cool. Next, we have The Flash, number two, and this is the first appearance of, I believe, The Stillness is the name of the character, but, you know, of course, it's a uh, counter flash, you know, not really a reverse flash, but definitely something of interesting. So, yeah, I figured brand new villain for Flash called The Stillness, the exact opposite of Flash. Next, for Mike Mignola, we have Giant Robot Hellboy. Definitely looked interesting. I don't always get Hellboy stuff whenever I can get a good deal on it. And also, uh, I uh, thought it was a cool cover. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the other two issues, but maybe if I run into them. Next, finally, we're going to get into this last one. first i'm really excited they gave me every once in a while they'll throw something cool they gave me a riddler year one poster for the paul diano book and i'll totally totally put that up uh i may switch out one of the posters for that because that's dope as heck to me because i mean it'd be cool to get like oh uh paul dano or whatever or to sign it is that his name? Yeah, I think. All right. Is that the writer for this? Yeah. So, that's cool. I really liked all the... Like, I liked all the Sinkevich covers on that, too. But the Ste the Steppen Sedgwick covers, I believe, are also pretty dope. Uh, really like the Riddler. That's as far as the character goes. I've yet to get around to... Uh, reading it though next we have star wars high republic number one and we've got the a cover the b cover and the c cover and i got another should have another set of those here or actually am i missing one Looks like I am missing a B cover, but who knows? It may be another thing. But yeah, we've got the uh, three Star Wars High Republic covers. And then I got another set right here of, looks like two more variants. It looks like I'm missing a cover A. So we'll have to look into that because I didn't see it in this. 
Next, we got petrol head number one. I thought this was kind of a interesting idea for a you know comic book for the car. Uh, we also got a Mitch number one, which is also by Scout, and this is a. Uh, you know, another one of their bunny books, because they tend to have... Scout tends to use bunnies a lot, like Mr. Easter I always loved, and uh, other ones like that. Uh, then our final book we have is Zawana and the Belly of the Beast, and uh, this is the A cover. And I can't remember, I think this is like the 1 in 10 or 1 in 25... I think it's the one in ten, but it's definitely the ratio variant. This one, and uh, I of course picked it up because this ratio variant is done by Jorge Corona, and I happen to love Jorge Corona's art quite a bit. So I was super excited to get that one. But uh, yeah, these are my pickups from Comics Sense, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love their uh, stuff. You should definitely check them out. But I'm going to get off here. I'm going to holler at y'all later, and I will talk to y'all soon. Peace.